Good morning. Welcome to Wilds in the Wilderness. Unfortunately, today I'm not going to be able to make the trip up to see Madame Sherry's forest. The bridge here is not accessible, as you can see. And that's a shame because it wouldn't take much to make it accessible. And you can see the trail that goes up the hill actually looks doable, but I can't get over this bridge. So David will be making this hike without me. It's only about half a mile there and back. So it's, it'll be a short little hike, but this is some place that I've wanted to see. And unfortunately I'll only be able to share it with my lovely wife via video. So let's go check it out. So, unfortunately, one of the stone arches has collapsed. This is kind of an iconic New Hampshire location. And especially in the fall with fog and it's just kind of spooky, you know stairway to nothing but this used to be a Madame Cherie's mansion here and you can still see the foundations and such I think you can still access some of the basement areas as well so you can see used to be a big fireplace here and you can see down the basement there I think if you come around the back side, you can actually go inside the basement. There's a geocache. Now that's the Madame Cherie's Castle letterbox. So here's the remains of the basement. Wasn't much down here. And come around here. Here is the back side of the archway. In its heyday, that must have been an absolutely beautiful, stunning entryway to her property. It's a shame that the arch has collapsed and you can see, look right in here, you can see there's signs that the other one's not far to go. It's a shame we can't restore that somewhat. Not much to it, but still, there's Madame Cherie's castle some place that I've always wanted to go to. And looking at the trail up here, I think we could have got Lynn up here if we could have just gotten her scooter across the bridge. Well, back down to the car, I guess. It's pretty here though, with the light streaming through the trees. It's a beautiful property. This is really neat. And you can't really tell the steepness. This trail up's not super steep, but the scooter might need some help getting up it. I might have to push a little bit. And of course, there's another trail that goes off over here. 
It's kind of a three-way split. I think it's called Indian Pond Trail or something like that. I'll look at the sign when I pass it. And, you know, you, we've had a lot of rain lately, so there's some erosion here. It would have taken some effort, but if we could have just gotten the scooter across that bridge, it's called the Ann Stokes Loop, not Indian Pond. But if we could have just gotten the scooter across that bridge, I think we could have gotten her up there. It's only about 200 yards. Such a shame. That so easily could have been made to be accessible. So this ends our adventure at Madame Shiri's Forest. Thank you for coming along. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe and notification bell to get notified when we upload. Uh, thank you for coming along with us. Uh, have a blessed day and choose joy.